today we are going to discuss about the view in simple words view is a web page you can not directly call the view but you can load the view in your controller how as we have discussed that view is a web page that means you have your html and css code in your view and open your public app directory and view as you can see you have your welcome message dot php file where you can add your view i'm going to create a view now i'm creating a file whenever i say view whenever i say file that means i'm talking about the php file <laughs> because you always keep your views in your views folder so now as you can see this is the views folder i'm going to create the view here now it's a simple file now i am saying it's index file okay index.php file okay i have created the view now i'm saying html so this is the html and I'm saying index view now if I add this is my view you have created your view go to your page refresh the page you know very well that you have the public directory and uh, as you can see this is your public directory public directory and you have the index.php file here and why it's loading new home method because in your roots.php file you set the new controller as a default controller okay so that's why it's directly loading this bad boy okay now we have created a view as you can see this is the view and i want to load this view here so how can you load i just call view and you have to pass one parameter name of the view we it's a index you don't need to write the php okay now go to the page refresh the page now it's not working why because you have to echo the view now come in this bad boy go to the page refresh the page after saving file make sure save the file go to the page refresh the page so now as you can see this is your view okay you have created your view now if you have some data for suppose i am saying 10 20 and i am saying 30 now i am saying this is my data and i am storing this here now if you war dump this bad boy my data go to the page refresh the page now as you can see it's giving you the error array okay so this is the array you can also create the array like this it's totally defined upon you okay now this is the array if you pass this data to your view how can you pass this data use this second parameter by using the comma and pass your variable to the page refresh the page so now you have passed the data to your view so open your view this is the index view now if you okay now what you need you have to say that this is my data my data or you can say xyz whatever you are keeping your name i'm saying my data my data or the data simply now if i wall them if i wall them the variable bottom data go to the page refresh the page so now as you can see it's showing you your data which is coming from the controller make sure you have your key and you have your data you can pass you can also pass the string string here 
put the page refresh the page now as you can see it's showing you the string okay you can also pass the integer put the page refresh the page it's an integer you can also pass like floating go to the page refresh the page okay now i'm passing the array you can also pass multi-dimensional array or associative array so this is also the associative array so this is the key and you have the array okay now i'm saying i have the same variable and now i'm changing the data name two or i'm saying another data now i'm saying it's 100 it's 200 and now it's 300 you do the page refresh the page nothing is happening because you are saying that this is the data now if i wall them this bad boy you do the page refresh the page as you can see it's, it's showing you 100 200 like this so it's totally dependent on you you can also pass uh, the associative array like this comment this bad boy so you can easily get the code i am saying array and now here i am saying i have id and i have some data in the id fields now i am saying i have make sure comma separate now i am saying i have name I have some names here like A, like B, and like C. Okay, now I have to pass this variable here. So I am already passing. Now go to the page, wire them this bad boy. Go to the fresh the page. Now you can see it's showing you the associative array. You have the ID and you have three array. This is the ID. Make sure this is the key, and these these are the values. So name three names. So how can you access these names? I'm saying that uh, if you access this ID, it will give you the IDs. If you access the name, it will give you the names. Okay, fine. This is the key. To access your data which is coming from the controller to your view you have to use the key so this is the key make sure this is also the associative array okay now if you use the for loop to print this data so how can you do that now I am saying I have the for loop sorry for loop now I am saying for loop i equals to zero and now I this then make sure it's the count now I am saying so this is the count okay now I am saying i plus plus this is better or i now I am saying This is also the i okay you have to use the colon and now your if ends here sorry this is not if it's a for now i am saying one here i have to echo this bad boy i'm saying this I go to the page refresh the page now as you can see it's showing you the ABC if you use the ID go to the page refresh the page sorry you have to use the ID also here now it's showing you the 20 30 40 so it's totally depend upon you how you using uh, how can you send the 
data and how which data you are sending uh, in the form of the associative array you can also load the multiple views so how this is a single view okay or suppose if i have the header and footer you can also load the header footer i'm saying view now i'm saying header i'm saying view footer i have to create these two files in the view folder i have created i have created the header i also okay now i'm going to create the footer file so this is the footer now in the header file i have to say h1 header here it's a header here now i'm saying in the footer file i'm saying h1 and the footer here go to the page refresh the page now as you can see it's saying you the header and the footer right click view page source so as you can see you have added the header and the footer because you are using the html here if you copy this bad boy and you paste this bad boy here so now go to the page refresh the page now as you can see it's fine so in this way you can use your multiple you can load your multiple views in your controller you can also cache your views we will discuss about it but for now it's enough uh, thank you for watching